Okay, hello everyone. So let's get started. We'll be making a beautiful, colorful landscape, a seascape, you can say, a water reflection, a sun, a beautiful sky, birds, trees, mountains. Okay, and lot of colors. Okay, so first we'll make a circle. This is little different. So we'll make a little a circle according to the uh, sheet. So take a uh, plate according to your sheet, according to the size of your sheet. It should be little smaller than your sheet. Or you can just have a compass and make a circle. Okay. Now we can have a scale, a ruler, and we'll make a line, a little above the center, okay? Little above the center. Somewhere here, we'll make a straight line. We can make it a scale, simply like this. Now, we can have a coin <clears throat> to make the sun or we can have a, any round object by which we can make a sun. Okay. So I'm getting this. This is handy. I'm using this right now. I'll make a bigger sun. We can also make a smaller sun. No, I need a smaller sun. So I'll, I'll just make it freehand. You use a coin. Use a coin to make a uh, circle. Okay. You know, uh, to improve your drawing, you should practice making these kinds of circle. Circles and various shapes. So I've made a circle, but you, uh, you all of you use a uh, coin. Okay, it's almost in the center. Little right side, I think. Mama, mama. Mama. Mm. Mute, mute. Okay, now this is in the center. Use a coin, use a plate. You'll be able to make it instantly, quickly. Okay, I'm erasing the extra lines. I'm erasing it now. And doing, a, you have to erase it. Otherwise, it will leave a mark. Huh? But it should be lightly visible so that you are able to make full circle. Okay? It will be little visible. Use a white color in it. If you have a white color, you can use white color. And on the remaining areas, we will be doing yellow color. Okay. In the last painting, I think we used little pink and other colors also. Here also we'll use. So I've taken a lemon yellow, little bit of pink, orange, purple, and black. So here we have we are doing lemon yellow color. I hope everyone is doing along with me. Okay. Everyone has to do. Do it along with me.
I'm also using little bit of orange and so this is a you can say sunset time so we are using those colors i also use a red red color with this okay so red color here this is the best combination we can have in the sky also and in water also have you seen these so i'm doing red color then orange color and in the center center we will leave for white and yellow color like this okay then only it will look like a reflection Achha, the colors should not come out of the circle. Hmm? Very carefully we are making this. I'll use little bit of pink also. So, you know, last time also we did uh, oil pastels. So, to get a better quality, a good quality of work, we need to fill the whole space. Then only we will be able to get a proper merging and a good quality of work. So, we should always try to make uh, whatever we are doing. We should always try to uh, make it our best work. Try to uh, give your 100% to your work. Don't leave any white space, space, any white spot. Just fill up all the areas. So that when you'll merge, there will be no white space left. Just leave here white or you can do white color. Using red color, I'm also using purple. Okay. In the place of purple, you can also use black. So what we'll be doing, we'll be making a beautiful scenery. And then the left uh, over area, this area, we will be doing black color. Okay. Feedback way of looking at it. Okay. Now tell me in the chat box. Who is unmuted? Okay, I'm using black color, uh, purple color. You can use black color. Remember, we made a, pen, a line with a pencil here. Here, we will make small mountains. And the shape of the mountains is usually, hmm, usually inverted V shape. Okay. So, we are making small mountains. Roughly, some high, some low mountains. Okay. And here also we are making brass like this. Hmm? Okay, before before doing the uh, dark color, before doing the dark color, we need to merge it. Okay, otherwise your black color or dark color will be merged with the bright colors. So, before doing that, we need to merge them. We need to merge these colors first. So, how will we merge? I told you, now. How do we merge? 
we merge them either with the tissue papers or multifold thick sheets or with the light color or with the birds or with the cotton okay so do a little more color if there is less color i let little more red color on the outer areas like this and we will just make lines like this to show that this is a water okay water body now we will when we have done the color then we will be able to easily merge them see we are easily able to merge them right Leave white and yellow space in between. Leave white and yellow space in the center area like this. See, yellow color is coming in the middle area. So, this shows the reflection of the sun in the water. See, now there is a smooth finishing now. Okay. So, we are now merging before doing the black color. Okay, before doing the black color, you have to merge it. Otherwise, it will leave such dirty marks on your yellow and bright areas. Enjoying it? Achha, you have to multifold it. Otherwise, it will leave uh, this uh, little uh, pieces of, small pieces of tissue paper on your sheet. Huh? So you need to multifold. See, it's leaving. So I need a thick sheet of paper. I can have a simple... Simple paper also we can have so that it it won't leave uh, small pieces on the sheet. So if we see any white spot, we will just cover it up with color. And then we will again merge it. Okay, so there's no problem if you are having some white spots in between. Just carefully merge them. Like this. Here, we will scratch it. Okay. Here, we will merge it. Merging the ends, these areas properly now after doing after merging we will use the dark color okay everyone first do the uh, all these colors bright colors and then i'm just putting some more colors like this Now, just giving some straight yellow lines here in the center, below the sun. Okay. Now, carefully use the black color. I'm using purple. You have to use black color. Okay. It will look more bright. So we can we can also uh, make a simple uh, circle with it. And we can also fill this area with black color. Okay. 
So you have a choice. You can make just a circle or you can fill the remaining area with bl black color. So here carefully we will be doing purple <clears throat> and then we will add few trees like this so you can you can add the trees with a uh, pencil also you know, uh, and try to make these trees first in rough so when you are making the trees make the base of the tree little slimmer and make the top of the tree little uh, sorry base of the tree little thicker and the top little slimmer okay we have done this now we'll again merge it. Okay. We'll merge it like this. Okay. Properly. We can also have bud on the slimmer uh, this. Here we have to merge it carefully, okay? Now, to make a tree, how will you make it? Tree. Take one rough sheet first. Make a curved line like this. Make a curved line like this. Then droop. make droopy lines like this. Make droopy lines like this. And then make Add smaller strokes like this carefully. This is very important, huh? Isi mein galti hoti hai, mainly like this. So I'm adding it here. Here, grouping lines one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like this. Little more bigger. Here. like this okay and okay it should be little more just one second huh? we will make finer trees proper trees Carefully. First, you can uh, make it in rough also. Okay. This, only this with few four lines also looks good. We can add little more like this. Simple. And then we will add strokes like this. All the strokes should be a uh, little curvy and going outwards like this. Hmm? And this we can make with a pencil also so that it gives little more fine uh, details to the whole picture. Okay. Like this. Here we made the mountains. We will color them with black color. We You are using black color. Okay, I'm using purple. Black will look more bright in this. So here we don't have to leave white spots. We'll be doing proper merging.
So I'm just merging it with finger. So for more finer details, we can use pencil and we can give more fine details like this. Okay, to the trees. Because that uh, oil pastel is very thick. So I'm using pencil. You'll have to check which pencil is working. If your normal pencil is not working, you can use charcoal pencil. If you don't have that, you can use pencil color. Okay. So you can use black pencil color and just give strokes like this beautifully and just complete the painting like this. Give a neat effect. Hmm? See? Now it's a neat effect. Okay, so we need to complete it like this. And here we can complete it with our beautiful birds. Hmm? Only two, three birds, not more. Just you have to make small r. That's it. So here, I hope you enjoyed the scenery. Hmm? Everyone, just merge it carefully where there is uh, little space, where there is uh, the, at the corners, you need to merge it carefully. Hmm? So there are very uh, so many various options in oil pastel. We have scratch technique in this. We have a uh, melting process of uh, oil painting that uh, oil pastels. That is such a beautiful process, but only little big students can do it. 
okay so that's why in these classes i'm just uh, we are just doing the easy work so that everyone can do it okay so complete it like this and send it to me Thank you.